Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trophynet and welcome back to The Witcher 3 on the Death March difficulty. We're on Skellige and today we're gonna do a few more side quests. So it looks like Jenge Fred over here needs my help. Hello, good sir. What's this offer? Got a contract for me? Might do. If you're willing to partner with me. Ooh, partnership. Work alone. Could pay to make an exception this time. It's not every day you get a chance to work with the most renowned bounty hunter north of the Yaruga. Jenga Fred himself. Jenga Fred. Um, what do you need me for? I'll bite. What's the famous Jenga Fred need a witcher for? I'm guessing you're a man of the world. Perhaps you've come across the Grossbart brothers in your travels. You hunting them? Don't I really know them, but the Andy Carroll does. Three of them. And everyone's got a pack of rapes and murders under his belt. Even took to grave robbing lately. Oh Easy my to god, that is so much worse than murder. No. Folks see three yellow tops. They flee to their huts. Which don't help much, of course. Because they're also fond of arson. Ah, so those were the Grossbart brothers. Well, seems you need to find yourself a new bounty. Cut them down already. Nice work. Listen. Give you half the bounty now if you tell me where to find the bodies. Apparently I sure. killed them already. Okay. Well, that's because of me just being too good at my work, I suppose. I apparently killed those guys already, the three yellow head guys. Um, well, that's a bit of an anticlimactic start. Let's see, I'll uh, head towards the next side quest I still have lying around. And I'll see you guys there. So, we're at Faro in Harviken, and I think there's two more quests available to me right here. So let's take a look. Timon, hello Timon. What's the matter? Are you looking for Pumba? My brothers, Mikkel and Ulf sailed to Hindusfjall to fetch Agdell, wedding Zin mud a few days, but they've yet to return. Wow, that's a heavy the accent. The storm broke while they were gone. I fear it might have blown them onto the rocks at Faro. Many have lost their lives there. I'd sail out to find them, I would. But I've got to make sure the wedding's proper prepared. They say it's not fitting for a Skelliger to ask for aid, but I've no choice. Will you help me? Will you seek out my kin? Of course I will help you, uh, poor man. I'll help you out. Fine. I'll look around for them. So his brothers went out to sea to get a woman, I suppose, then? That's the gist of it, I suppose. And this man, his, uh, their brother, fears that they might have gone uh, crashing against the rocks of Faroe. So that's still the same island, but let's see how far I can go with the uh, fast traveling. So yeah, as I thought, it's on the same island, but it's on the other side of it. So let's go to Trotheim and we'll uh, work our way to the east from there. There we go, Trotheim. And now let's take a walk along the shores. Let's see uh, if we can find those poor men. The price of honor. Search the shore using your witcher senses. Let's take a look around. Uh, ooh. Seems like there's... Is that... A wyvern or is it an... Oh, that's gonna be a siren probably. Yeah, it looks like it is, right? No, no, attack, Geralt. Oh, for fuck's sake. There we go. Yeah, bye. Lovely lady. Goodbye. Monster Tongue and Water Essence. Now, let's see. Were they attacked? Ooh. This doesn't look good. Is this the woman they were going for? Blue and bloated. Agda? Didn't seem to bother the sirens, though. Must have nabbed her body soon after she drowned. Kira's lamp ought to prove really handy here. Oh, and I still have that lamp, actually. Um, Let's equip it. Uh, magic lamp, there we go. And let's use it. Merciful Freya, forgive your Oh, so, sorry, sorry, sorry. Let's to do. escort our brother's betrothed to her wedding, a storm beset us and bested us. All is lost. Agda lies dead. Her dowry drowned. Tis a taint on the clan's honor. Forgive us, O oh Freya, most noble. Stop, Miguel. Freya can't wash our shame away. Only blood can. Let's do it as it must be done. There, neath the tree. You we'll pray, and then end it. Aye, you're right. Be better that way. 
that well that that is that is rather drastic isn't it um so they did crash on the shore must be able to see yeah it seems like there's a piece of the ship sticking out of the water over there um and then they, they just decided to well you know Agda died so let's kill ourselves because we're ashamed and stuff that, that's not what what kind of idea is that footprints wonder where they lead let's go to the tree and kill off ourselves that's that's not why just go to your brother and say we're sorry sorry she died we couldn't do anything about it the ship crashed and she drowned sorry but that's how it is god damn it yep there's two bodies near the tree there god damn it fucking fools Okay, that's not not really a crime scene game. They they killed themselves. Skelligan Honor chose to die instead of living with the knowledge they'd let down their brother. That is actually very cowardly. So, letter from Agda's father to Timon. Timon of Clan Dimon, I am delighted my Agda will wed as virile a warrior as yourself. Pride fills my heart to think your marriage will unite our two families. I trust you will forgive my absence, but with my many years and many more injuries, travel is no longer possible. I thank you for sending your brothers to escort Agda. My own lads are all drinking mead with our ancestors, so if not for Ulf and Miggle, Agda would have no worthy company, company on her journey to her wedding ceremony. To start you on your path together properly, I will entrust Agda's dowry to your brothers. On behalf of myself and all our clan, I also convey to you both my sincerest blessings. Respect each other and live in harmony. May you thrive and prosper. Jorgen of Clan Heime. So that means that the dowry is still in the ship, probably. Hmm. I know the game tells me to uh, tell the young man what happened to his betrothed and his brothers. But I'm gonna check out the ship first, so give me a minute. So. Here's the ship. Looks like there's a very, very big chest on top of the the ship so I'm gonna so I'm gonna presume that that is actually not that big of a ship that's where the uh, the dowry will be in so let's take that maybe I can give that to uh, Timon anyway so gold diamond necklace that was it apparently um, so yeah with that done I'm gonna head back to Timon and tell him the bad news hopefully he doesn't mind too much that his wife to be is dead and his two brothers decided to off themselves but we'll see that in a minute so back at Harviken let's break the bad news to Timon or Timon or Timon Timon whatever yeah Got some bad, bad news. news sadly Agda's dead so are your brothers <gasps> What? Huh? What are you saying? Because of your stupid traditions. Agda was killed. Your brothers felt they'd let you down. Couldn't live with the shame. They chose death. Found this letter. Might help you come to terms. I also have your dowry, but... A letter? That's all that's left of them. Um, I found this chest with the dowry. There we go. Also found your fiancé's dowry. Small comfort, but still. Thanks. Few men would be so honorable. Fare ye well. I am a very honorable witcher, so why would I be doing that otherwise? So, the price of honor completed. And that means we only have one quest left in Skellige, actually. Aside from the ones that we, uh, we missed, but we, well, kind of didn't, uh... Kind of had a lot of prerequisites to uh, get that quest, the Cave of Dreams. That was the one that I missed. Uh, by the way, if you feel like I missed something else, please let me know in the comment section. Because uh, we're wrapping things up in The Witcher. I still have probably f stuff for the next 10 episodes, but no uh, no more proper, well, a lot of proper uh, side quests. So, uh, yeah, that's gonna be, that's gonna, we're getting close to the end now. So, uh, also, if you have an idea as to what you want me to play next, please let me know in the comments as well. Um, but for now, let's head to that uh, side quest over here on the top of the hill. Because uh, there seems to be something going on here. What is this? Looks like a kind of an arena. No one else dares face 
Is there truly no warrior in all Skellige who can defeat me? That seems to be. Shouldn't have killed him. Sword, can you hear me? I hear you. It's just. I think he lost some teeth. Yeah. Hello there. I've not seen you here before. What do they call you? Geralt of Rivia. I'm Yuta Undimon. No man's been found who could best me in combat. Oh, I think we will be able to. Will you fight me? Will you fight me? I've heard of you. Twas you defeated Olaf the Bear, right? That's me. Oh yeah, because uh, we completed so, the fist fighting uh, the quests. That's good. Let's fight. Ready when you are. Then let's start. May Freya choose the victor. Do I need to hit a woman? Jetta. Hello, Jetta. Hi. Wait, why didn't I hit her? There we go. Come on. I'm a bit over leveled, of course, so this isn't going to take long. Not that I would need any help. There we go. Ow, I think she just hit me after the fighting was done. Enough! Oh, gods! Oh, gods! Not surprised you have a hard time finding worthy opponents. In the end, one came along. Where'd you learn all that? Um, at, you've probably never heard of the place, but Kaer Morhen. At Kaer Morhen. Kaer Morhen? That's terribly far. You did hear of the place. But you learned a great deal on the road as well, surely. Would you tell me about it? Oh. Of course, make we for a long would. Story. All right. We need a quiet spot, some good mead, and what do you say? Wait, did you just look for someone to fuck? Gladly. Gladly. See you at the inn. Too rowdy. Come to my home in Harvican. I'll be waiting after dusk. Bow chicka bow see you later, wow. Then. Yeah, I'll see you later. So let's go down. Um, so the Iron Maiden, Jutta. So she was just fighting dudes to see if she could get find one that she could have sex with. That is an interesting way of doing that. Just kicking guys in the ass until someone comes along and beats you back. <laughs> Bit of a weird way to go or going around that. Wind's howling. Yes, the wind is howling, Gerald. Yes, indeed. What the? Okay, those two dogs were in a weird position. And my mind is completely dirty at the moment. Because of Jutta. And we need to find her at her home after it's dusk. And there's a question mark in her home. What would that be? Let's let's check this out. Hello, why are you on the bed already? Yeah, yeah, you, you... Yes, I'm a witcher. You know me already. Hello, Jutta. Greetings. I started to think you changed your mind. I'd never miss a chance to spend a pleasant evening with you. I don't know that I'll make for engaging company. In truth, I rarely talk to men. Okay, why rarely? But let's not skip to the sex immediately. Rarely? Why? Well, I don't like to waste time chatting before fights. And after them, I've none left to talk to. Okay, fair enough. Now that I've enough. finally met someone stronger, seems Freya's played a cruel trick on me. What's Freya got to do with it? Oh, I know. I swore to the goddess that only he who bested me in battle would lie with me, take me as his wife, and give me children. But witchers are infertile. I can help you out with the first bit. Um, hmm, I can help you out with the first bit. Uh, yeah, why not, eh? Can't really help you with the second and the third. But I'm sure I can think of something to satisfy the first. Exactly what I'd hoped for. Yeah, indeed. Here we go again. It's been quite busy in uh, Geralt's life uh, this last few episodes. Because in the high stakes Gwen tournament, this happened as well. But I'll shut up now.
It's really funny that it's the same animation every single time we have sex with so Wallow. The right? Um, do we need to talk about hey that? Because Geralt didn't really answer that question, because yeah, indeed. What's Yennefer to you, Geralt? But I think they, they, they kind of have an agreement that they can sleep with somebody else once every while. Uh, maybe I should put clothes on while I run outside. There we go, back in the saddle, no mind the pun. Well, pun was intended, so never mind. Uh, and with that done, I think I've spent, well, spent, I've spent some time with Jutta, that's, that's right. Uh, but I completed pretty much every quest I still have available to me, at least in the base game. So again, if you uh, think I missed anything, please let me know in the comment section. But uh, with that done, I'm going to take a little break. So thank you guys enormously for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And if you haven't already, don't forget to give it a thought to subscribe to my channel. Because I'd really, really appreciate any support you guys can give me. So thanks again enormously for watching. And I hope to see you in the next video or series. Goodbye.